Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Sheet to enter your students' results for a particular class. And so you can see there, I've, I've created a table here in Sheets, um, and I've added all of my students' names and email addresses in as well. And that's important later on when I show you how to mail merge. The If you were to download the student class list from Simon, if you select to download it as a Excel spreadsheet, then that'll have the email addresses in there as well. So all that information is down there and you just need to copy and paste it into this sheet. Here I have all of the criteria that I'll be assessing my students on. I've got a total column, I've got a percentage column, I've got a grade column and I've got a comments column and I can show you how to fill all those out using formulas that will do all the adding up for you. So first of all, let's in this total column, what I want to do is to add up these columns as I type the results in individually. And I can do that just by highlighting this cell, dropping down this uh, menu here and selecting sum and that'll ask me what do I want the sum of and I just need to click and drag these cells here. Okay, you can see that, that that's now created a formula that's going to add up the cells in between D2 and H2, which is what I have selected. And now I can just hit return and you can see there that that's going to create a total. And currently that total is nothing. If I start to add results in here, you'll see that they will, they'll all add up in that total column. Don't worry that we're, we're going to fill out the rest of these, these cells later, but let's just focus on the first one to begin with. Percentage is a little bit more complicated. We're going to create another sum formula, but this sum is is to calculate a percentage. So any formula that you want to create in Sheets, and this is the, the same in Excel, we start with, so you can see here, I'm just going to fill out the functions column here. If I want to create a formula, I'm going to start with the equals symbol, and that tells the, the, the program that I'm creating a formula. I want to type in sum. And then the calculation that we need for a percentage is the total. So I can just click on that cell there and you can see that it's going to, whatever the total of that cell will be the first number in my equation. And I'm going to put that over the total marks, the, 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 the highest mark that the student can get. So this is out of 25 because each one of those criteria are worth five each. And then I need to multiply that by 100. So that's just star 100 and I need to close my brackets. All right, and if I hit enter, that formula takes place and you can see now that when I add the other grades in for this task, it's gonna calculate a percentage for me. Okay, next what we wanna do in the grade column is create a, a bit more of a complicated formula um, that is gonna calculate the letter grade for us based upon what this percentage is here. So. This is, we're going to create a formula called an if formula. And what, what that does is that it, if a cell is above or below a certain numerical value, then it'll be a certain letter or, or, or sentence or anything we decide to prescribe to it. So we're going to start that formula up here by adding equals and if. Okay. And we'll start that by putting some brackets in. So what we want to tell it, is if this cell, if I tap on that, it'll automatically put J2. If J2 is greater than 89, comma, then the result will be A, comma. All right, so if, any, if, if that number is anything greater than 89, then it'll be A, and that's, that's, the, that's the result. Now we want to put all the other letters in as well. So for each one, we need to create a different if formula. So if new brackets, J2 is greater than 74, then the result will be B, comma, new if formula. And I'll just, I'll just fast forward the next little bit so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, lastly for the for the last value, we don't need to put an if formula because 
if, if it's anything below 39, then it's going to be UG automatically. So we don't need to put an if formula in. We just we'll just leave it as UG, and that will that will be the result if if the formula is is less than that. What we lastly need to do is close all of those brackets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we're and then we're done. We can hit return, and what you can see there is that has scored a B. If I change these make them all five, then that result's going to be an A, and you can see how that, that changes. Okay, so what we will do in this last column, in the comments column, if you want to leave that column blank and, and write each comment in individually, of course, that's perfectly fine. If the task allowed for it, you might be able to set up automatic comments, of course, which you could, you could add to later before you uploaded them to Simon. This just can save a bit of time, again, if the task allows for it. But in order to do that, we're just going to create another if formula like we did for the, for the grade column. And rather than a numerical value, the, the, the if will be looking for that grade. So we'll start up here and we'll start by adding the equal sign. And we're going to create an if formula. Open the brackets and we're going to be selecting from this cell here. So if k2 equals, we're not looking for greater than, we're looking for exact. If k2 equals inverted commas a, then, and you can add the comment here, you can add whatever you want. Um, you could add that the student has performed the task very well, the student has performed this at this level of English very well, for example. Um, I'll just do a dummy one and, and write something silly in. So if they get it A, the comment's going to say banana. Okay. New if formula. If k2 equals b. We'll say sausage. And again, I'll, I'll fast forward through this bit so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, so again, we have to, to finish, we, we need to close up all of those formulas with some brackets. And if I hit enter, then now those comments should take place. If this student was to get an A, then they get banana. Okay, so now all of our formulas are in place. What we need to do is we're going to select these four cells. These are the ones that we've put formulas in. They should be highlighted and you'll see this little square here. That means that I can just now click and drag that down to fill up all the space. You can see everyone's got soup because no one's got any scores yet. But once I start adding in the scores, all of those formulas should take place. You'll notice too that down the bottom here, what I've done is set up an average column and that will allow for me to calculate an average for all of my class. What I want to do in this cell here is use this functions column and I can go down and select average and then it's going to ask me what do I want the average of and what I want is to click and drag all of these cells, hit enter. That'll give me the average of those cells and now if I fill down with those same formulas that I've created for the percentage and the grade, then that'll give me a percentage, an average percentage of the class and the average grade of the class. So once I start filling that out with all the other results, you'll see how that all changes to accommodate.